Valentine's Day has pagan origin that dates all the way back to ancient Rome. In ancient Rome, there was a two-day festival. The first day of this festival was said to be on February the 14th. On the first day of this festival, they celebrated to honor the queen of the Roman gods and goddesses, which goes by the name of Juno Fructifer, also known as the goddess of marriage. One of the rituals performed on this day involves a game of matchmaker. Single women would place their names in a box. Single men would then pull from that box and become paired up with the lady that he chose. Some couples stayed together for the duration of the whole festival, while other couples at times stayed together for the entire following year. On February 15th, the second day of the festival, the Romans would celebrate with a feast called Lupercalia in honor of the god of fertility. Men would go to Grotto, located at the foot of Palatine Hill, where they believed the founders of Rome, brothers Romulus and Remus, were suckled by a she-wolf there. The ritual at Grotto included goat sacrifices. Men would don the goat skins to make whips and run around hitting the women with the whips as an act to ensure fertility. It's said that the day gets its name from St. Valentine, a Christian priest during the reign of ruler Claudius II. Claudius II placed a ban on marriages because many young men at the time would get married in order to dodge the draft. As the rule was, only single men was to be drafted in the army at this time. It is said that St. Valentine was caught performing secret marriages and was sentenced to death. While he was awaiting execution, Young people whom he married would visit with notes saying how much love is better than war. St. Valentine was executed 269 CE on February 14th. There was a second and a third Valentine as well that were priests. The second Valentine is said to have gone to jail as well for helping Christians. He soon fell in love with the jailer's daughter and left a letter signed, From Your Valentine. He was said to eventually be beheaded. And the third Valentine priest, was the bishop of Tyranny. He was also martyred. In the 5th century, Pope Gelasius declared the original dead execution date of St. Valentine as a day of honor dedicated to St. Valentine, given he to the pagan traditional day, Valentine's Day. Here's a symbol that everybody knows Valentine's Day for, which has pagan origins as well. In classical mythology, Cupid is the god of desire, erotic love, attraction, and affection. He is often portrayed as the son of the love goddess Venus, and is known in Latin as Amor, which means love. Cupid's Greek counterpart is Erodes. After all this time, who knew that a day which is supposedly built on love would have so many origins heavily rooted in paganism, glorifying premarital sex, divination evoking gods and goddesses as well as death not to mention valentine day is also heavily commercialized to produce millions of dollars every year